What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and today we're going to be discussing a recent ban uh, from the NU tier over at Smogon because I've been talking a lot about what's been going on with OU lately and we had the recent Aegis Slash ban that was just put into place just a few days ago and then we have the Mega Mawile Suspect Test which is going on right now actually and that'll be going on until August the 20th so we have some time uh, before we're going to find out what is going on with that because voting can last a week after that so we might not find out anything about Mega Mawile until the last week of August and that is uh, fine by me I mean you know, you want to have ample time to test it and have everybody uh, get their wrecks and be able to vote and all that stuff. But today we're going to be looking at NU because we did just see Combuskin get banned from the tier officially and it is set to BL3. So that means it can only be used in RU and above. It has the usage to be NU but just banned from the tier. The only other thing that's in BL3 at the moment, I believe, is Sigilyph or Sigilyph, or however you want to say it, because it was just ridiculously powerful for such a low tier like NU. Doesn't belong there, so yeah. And they're probably gonna suspect test other things as well. Uh, I'm gonna guess for Alligator. I think a lot of people wanna see for Alligator go. But anyway, we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about Combuskin today. And before we get started, I would like to point out something. I wanna talk about something very briefly that doesn't necessarily have to do with this. And that is on the last couple of videos, a lot of people are commenting about how stupid Smogon is and screw Smogon and they just ban things that they don't want to deal with and a whole bunch of other uh, inaccurate and ignorant things. We're not uh, commenting negativity. I'm not going to be tolerating that anymore. So if you want to post negative things, do it somewhere else. Not on my channel, not on my videos. I'm not asking for negativity. I'm asking for your opinion. If you happen to not agree with what's going on, that's perfectly fine. Uh, because I am asking for your opinion. Just do it in a constructive way. We don't need to uh, just curse about random things and just speak negatively about uh, the community in general or just the people that are qualifying to vote because uh, most of the time the people that complain are not the ones that are qualified to vote anyway. So that is that. Let's just keep it positive. Be sure to uh, share your opinion, and if it's negative, just make sure you do it in a constructive way. That's all that I ask, and I don't think that that's too much to ask. So, yeah, let's get into uh, the actual, the meat of this, though. Why is Combuskin even being considered for a ban, or why was it being considered for a ban in the first place? Well, that is because, as we know from uh, the ban, as far as Blaziken is concerned, being banned to Ubers, which it was banned in 5th gen, and it was banned this gen, pretty quickly, pretty unanimously, and that is because speed boost is a problem because they can just run protect, they get a free speed boost off, and they have access to baton pass, which uh, is just crazy, crazy good. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, well, we have Scallopede that has the same exact thing, it has access to baton pass, it has access to swords dance, you know, speed boost, all that stuff. And what is Scallopede right now? I think it's BL. So it can only be used in OU, but it's not Ubers or anything. But the problem is Scallopede is, is not nearly as much of an offensive powerhouse as Combuskin and Blaziken are. The coverage is really, really good. And if we're talking about NU, NU is a really low tier. It's not meant to handle uh, things like baton passing, both swords dances and speed boosts and all that stuff. And normally, I would say... Uh, you know what, if you're letting your opponent set up all these things, you know, that's kind of your fault, and you should probably try to play a little bit better, not necessarily think about banning the Pokemon. In this case, however, I actually am very much so in agreement with this Combusking ban, because, uh, for one, it's over-centralizing the meta. I know that's something that gets thrown around a lot, but this is pretty much the epitome of what over-centralizing the meta is. If you play NU, if you ladder at all, and I know uh, I do all the time, I'm always playing NU, I love the tier, it's just, it's just one of my favorites, it's just what it is. Just about every single team runs a Combuskin, and they all do the same exact thing. They all do swords dancing, protecting, baton passing shenanigans, and when you're passing that into something as powerful as... Uh, I don't know, Go Lurk with 124 base attack in NU, or a Sock with 125 base attack in NU, and you're giving them speed boost, which is normally their only real problem, is that they're not fast enough. 
Salk especially loves to run Scarf. Now it doesn't have to because you can just baton pass speed boost into it. So you can just give it a muscle band or you can give it uh, you can give it a focus sash if you're running Mole Breaker because one of Salk's only real good counters is um, Weezing, which has the Levitate, so you can't hit it with Earthquake. But you can give it a focus sash and give it Mole Breaker, and then Weezing is going to die to a plus two EQ most likely. Uh, if not, it's going to be a two at KO. And yeah, so you just open up all kinds of different options, and in a lot of cases, if you get a plus two or even a plus four plus some speed boost over to a Salk, that's going to be a good game regardless of where you are in the match. And if it's not, it's just going to just plow through just about any team. And that's not even considering the fact that a lot of the walls in NU are weak to fighting type moves. You've got Bastiodon and Probopass and Steelix and even Torkoal doesn't want to take EQs coming off a of Sock or a Golurk, especially not at plus two. It's just not going to feel so good. So um, the, the, the main reason why, or not the main reason, but one of the, the reasons that I'm okay with this ban is because we're not banning it to Ubers, we're not banning it to OU, or even UU, it's just going to BL3. This kind of, uh, shenanigans, they don't belong in NU. I mean, I guess they don't really belong in RU either, but there's some things that can counter it up there and can handle it a little better, such as aromatis, things like that, and things that can take hits from, uh, Combuskin's coverage, the fire fighting coverage and things that it would normally like to pass into such as Alamomola super super bulky on the physical side and not weak to common physical moves and that's the problem with a lot of Pokemon in Enyu even if they have great defense they're weak to very popular physical uh, type coverage Alamomola does not have that because its only weaknesses are grass and electricity most of the time are um, special so there's that, and I, it's not like Combuskin is not ever going to get used again. So, um, yeah, I think it'll fare just as well. Now, one thing I thought was very interesting was that, um, I forget who it was. I think it may have been uh, Mr. Ramos, who is a good friend of mine. He told me that, or he, he tweeted at me, and he was like, oh, I wonder if Torchic is going to be considered because it has access to all the same moves. Thought about it, I was like, well, that's interesting because it could still have Eviolite and make it uh, nearly impossible to take out before it gets boosts off. But it does lose a significant amount of bulk, and it doesn't have access to the fighting type moves and the fighting type stab, which Combuskin does have access to. And unfortunately, um, one of the problems that Combuskin causes is that it's not just a threat because it baton passes, it's also very much so a threat on its own. If it's setting up uh, swords dances or bulk ups or whatever its boosting move is, it still has very decent uh, attacking stats to take advantage of. It doesn't have to switch out. Whereas Torchic, pretty sure uh, its offensive stats are not anywhere near on par with uh, Combuskin. And that's why I don't think we're going to be seeing a Torchic ban from NU. That would just be ridiculous. Something interesting to uh, toy around and think about, uh, though. So that is that. Now the other side of this argument, because I told you what my opinion is and what people that wanted this thing to be banned thought, but as for the people that are against it, I actually haven't heard a lot of arguments against it, to be honest. This was a fairly unanimous decision. Of course, not everybody agrees with it, but it is a, a fairly agreed upon thing that we don't want Combuskin down in NU. RU is, is perfectly fine for it. Uh, but the other side seems to just, uh, their main argument seemed to be that uh, you just kind of need to deal with it and there should be a counters. I mean, I don't really know. It was basically just deal with it. And you can run Roar and stuff like that, but I mean, it, what are you going to use, what are you going to carry Roar on that doesn't get pooped on by Combuskin? I mean, things that commonly carry Roar, like Steelix gets pooped on by both of Combuskin's stabs and things that it will commonly pass into. So does um, Bastiodon, which just gets demolished by Sky Uppercuts or Brick Breaks or whatever you want to run. There's not a lot of things you can run phasing moves on that aren't going to get pooped on by a plus two Combuskin. And let's face it, with a speed boost you're, and Eviolite, you're probably not going to stop it from getting the boost up that it wants. And if for some reason it has a really, really bad matchup against whatever uh, you have out on the field, 
a good player is not going to leave Combusking out there to die. He'll switch it out and wait for an opportunity and then bring the Combusking back in. Doesn't even have to be that long afterwards. And if you give it a free turn, I mean, your, your team's going to have to sack off at least one or two things, usually, to be able to deal with it. So that being said, I do want to point out, though, that everything that I've said has just been opinion. I'm not just stating... Um, that my opinion in my way is fact because that's not the case that's just uh, my perspective as an NU player and yeah I was actually gonna ladder up for this but I missed it so that's unfortunate but it ended up being the result that I was uh, vouching for anyway so I may end up laddering up for the mobile uh, suspect test because I really really don't think that it should be banned I don't think it's necessary at all so that's something to consider, but that's a little bit off topic. So guys, let me know what you think about this Combuskin ban. And remember, it's not being banned um, from, like, all of the tiers. It's not going to Ubers or anything. It's just going to BL3, so we don't have to see every single team carrying it in NU. Uh, there are some other things that are over-centralizing it, too. I mean, in NU, you see Zatu all the time. For Alligator is another big one that just is constant. And... For Alligator, was actually a big thing that Combuskin would pass off into. I mean, because then it doesn't have to run Aqua Jet, and it gets, this, gets the speed boost off. You don't have to worry about uh, Dragon Dancing either. And for Alligator, has Swords Dance himself, so he can set up further if you have a type advantage. And just, it's insane how much power that thing can carry. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to end this video, and I got a little bit distracted. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this band do you agree with the fact that we won't have to see combuskin anymore in nu or do you think that's where it belonged and having it in ru is silly and stupid and all of that stuff i would love to hear uh, your opinion especially if you play a lot of nu i would definitely love for you to uh weigh in down below tell me what you think all that stuff and remember we're going to keep it positive so no pooping on smogon no pooping on smogon players or any community for that matter, not just Smogon, don't poop on VGC or people that don't follow Smogon, this, you know, it, we're just keeping it friendly, we're all just uh, fans of Pokemon, and that's just what it is. So with that being said, that is it for this video, and I will see you all for the next one, but until then, game on.